All right, so there's two ways for me to recover the guard when I'm, when my opponent goes to my side, okay? So when he goes here, like, I can either turn to him to recover the guard, or I can turn away from him to recover the guard, okay? When I, when I turn away from him, or he, even like if I turn towards him, I can use my elbow on the floor when I'm facing outside. I can use my elbow on the floor, or I can use my hip up like this. You see, like, the same role that I have uh, to do with my arm, right here, is the same with my leg, okay? So my elbow is the, is the knee from my arm, right? Let's say, okay? So, so I'm either gonna stand up and have my back off the mat, or I'm gonna keep my, my back on the mat, and I'll take my hip off the mat, okay? You can never stay like with both on the floor. You cannot stay with the shoulder and hip on the floor, okay? So if I stay with both sides on the floor, he's gonna control me, okay? But when I'm doing this, now it's a little bit harder for him to control, okay? So in wrestling, we call this pin. So you pin the person. So when you pass the guard, you want to pin them. So Orlando wants to pin me here, okay? So if I'm doing this, okay, it's a little bit harder for him to pin as well. But I'm exposing my back, okay? In both situations, I'm exposing my back, right? So when I, when I turn towards him, okay, I can use my elbow on the floor like this, I can. I can also like stand up like this too. And do both, both things as well, okay? But one thing I need to do here is to protect and frame this arm here, okay? Because he wants to control and hug my head, okay? So if I wanna lift my hip off the mat, I need to frame here, okay? Because if, if he hugs me here, it's gonna be hard for me to do it, okay? So I need to have freedom right here. So I lift and I frame with this leg right here, okay? The top leg, okay? Or I go like this. Usually, uh, Flexible people, they do this. If you're flexible, you go here. You use your hip more, okay? So if you're stiff, like stiff, right, you, you can't have like much flexibility or you don't have flexibility. So you go more like this because you want to find a space to get up, okay? But the best option is raising the hips like this. This is the best option, frame it. Because when I do this, now what I gotta do, I put my head between my legs, and I use my bottom leg to roll. And then I recover the guard, okay? So you got here, first one, I can go escape the hips, okay? I pass my guard again, frame, escape, frame, Raise my hip up, you see? And then, roll, okay? So those are the two ways I can frame and retain the, the guard. Do have like a better guard retention, okay? Just wanna make sure you guys understand, okay? So if I'm looking away from him right now, okay? Same thing, if I use my elbow on the floor, I need to save my hips. Okay. Or I use my elbow on the floor and try to use this hook here. You see, I, I go with my leg across. Because now if you try to walk to my back, it's gonna end up in between my legs. Okay. Or if I can go with my hook across, I go with my hook inside his leg here. Then I can lift him and get the X guard. Okay? So when I'm facing outside, I'm looking forward to, to have a frame as well, okay, with my legs. But sometimes it's really close to me. Stay closer like a leg drag, yeah. So I can't have the frame. That's why the leg drag is very, very good, okay? Now what I gotta do is escape the hips. Now I have space to get the frame, either here or across, okay? And then I carry over the guard, right? Okay. If he goes to my side and I'm here, I have the option to to lift my hip, 
like this. But of course, I cannot keep my, my arm like this. So I just frame at first. I can sit up or I can go like this. Once I do that, I'm going to bring my head between my legs. Same row I did when I was facing to him. And now I need to slide my butt right in between his, his arm and leg here. So it needs to be on top of my hip, uh, my hamstring right here. Okay, and that way I open my legs wide and I recover the guard, okay? So, where I need to keep my opponent uh, in between my legs, I need to keep him here or on top of my, my hamstring or on top of my frames, okay? Even if it's on the side, if I, have, I can have the frame, I can have between my legs, or I can have him like over my legs like this, okay? But at the moment that he start being like more on top of my thighs, then he's gonna pass my guard. So the drill is gonna work here, it's like this. First, we're gonna do facing towards him, okay? So he's gonna pass my guard. I'll frame his arm, okay? I'll frame the arm here. I like to go see grip on the bicep, okay, like this. And my forearm is already doing the frame on his neck as well. He's gonna try to control your head. If I go on the shoulder like this, he can reach my, my collar or hug in my head. Like this, okay? I like to go here, okay? So now I escape the hips, frame with the top leg, lift my hips up, okay? And now I go with my head between my legs and use my toes to roll, okay? And as I roll, I recover the guard. So then I can make my grips. Okay? That's in the guard. So one, frame, escape, frame. My frame is right, my frame here, the top frame is right on his, his armpit. Okay? Lift, roll. Okay, other side. Frame, one, two, three. Three steps. One. Two, three, I, I lift, okay, and roll. That's the first one. We're gonna do this for one minute, and then the next one, when he pass, okay, I'm gonna face him again as well, but now I'll put my elbow on the floor, and I escape my hips. And I put him between my legs. Either hook guard or close guard, okay? That's the other side. Escape, elbow. Okay. So have shoulder off the mat or hip off the mat. From both, the best one is lifting the hips. Okay. So let's work on that first. Then we go facing outside. So one, two, three. Okay. He got the leg drag. He passed my guard. And he forced me to face outside. Once he got the leg drag and kill my hip, like if I do this, he's gonna end up getting outside control. Okay. So I'm halfway facing outside, so it's better for me to keep moving outside, okay? But of course, I cannot move with my hip and shoulder on the mat, okay? So if I roll like this, of course, it's gonna mount on my back. I'm gonna take my back, okay? So that's why when I roll outside, I need to decide if I'm gonna sit up, okay? Or if I'm gonna elevate my hip like this. Okay, and I work with my toes on the mat right here. I can use both legs or especially the bottom leg here, most like the bottom leg. And then I'm gonna start rolling and then I make sure my butt sink in, like in, inside here, okay? And in the same time, I'm opening his, his elbow to recover the guard, so it's gonna look like this. So I'm here, I go one, and then I'm ready back and recover the guard, okay? This is like for Flexible guys, right? So when you get here, you're gonna frame. So you gotta watch out for the arm. By the time he's trying to pass her guard, try to pass my guard here, I'm, I'm lifting and I'm recovering the guard. So I'm not just bringing my, my opponent on top of my hamstring, but also I am avoiding him uh, from taking my back. How? Putting my back against the mat, okay? So in his ear, Look that I expose the back here. If I keep doing this with my back 
facing towards his chest. He's going to take my back. Go back. So as soon as he got here, I need to turn, but look, I need to hide my back and put my shoulders on the mat. You see, like against the back. Okay? So that way I'm defending my back. At the same time, I'm putting him on guard. Okay? So you cannot. Some people they do it, but sometimes they don't do really well. Because when they turn, they, they know they need to do this to roll, but they expose their back. Now they want to roll. But Rolando already get the seatbelt, and when I roll, he's going to follow me. And then he's on my back. So I cannot have my opponent touching his chest against my back. Okay? So as soon as I feel like he's about to go from my back, I need to slide my shoulders and my back against the mat. Okay? At the same time, I'm lifting my hips. That's why it requires a little bit of mobility and flexibility to, to do this move. Okay? Because it's not everyone that, that's capable to do that. Okay. So if you're, if you're not very flexible, you're going to be uh, one of those that will turn and then do this first. Okay? And then from here, you need to deal with this right now. Okay? But if you're more flexible, you'll be able to turn here. But look, taking the hip out, but look at my shoulders and my back. It's not against his chest. It's against the mat. Okay, and then I start sliding to recover the guard and then making my grips. Okay? So option one, he's gonna pass, okay? I'm gonna start like turning outside and then immediately hiding my back, protecting my back using the floor, recovering the guard. Option two, he's gonna pass my guard. I'll sit up and I'll work with baby hooks. I can go with the bottom leg in or the top leg in. It really depends, or both legs in. It really depends what I'm gonna do, but one of them, one, one of the legs needs to be inside. Okay, if it's this one here, probably I'll go more for like 50, 50, you know? It will control my opponent. If I go with the top leg in, like this one, probably I'll work more on the X guard. It's gonna be more like, like an X guard, like whenever you call. Okay, or I can go, like I said, I can go with my foot across all the way to the other side, here. Okay, so that way if you try to run that way, look, it's, it's against my foot here. Okay, and then I put him between my legs. And if you pass this way, if he goes this way, then I can go back to the rope. I just gotta play, play with that, okay. So he passed, immediately throw. Okay? Even if he doesn't put the weight on you, you just throw the leg to the side, you immediately like roll like this. This is the best way for you to defend the, the guard pass. Okay? Because if he goes to my side and I go like, ah, I need to face him, he's gonna pass your guard. Okay? So take advantage of facing this way immediately, like recover the guard. Okay? If it's really close, like a leg drag, frame, hook. Now you can go this way and then go to 50-50 if you want, or go for X guard here. There's a lot of things you can do from here. You can now sweep, scramble to the back, okay? Or the top leg, X guard, okay? So let's play. With these two options. One, elevate the hip. Two, elevate the shoulder. If you, if you elevate the shoulder, you need to find a space to work with your hooks. If you lift your hip, you need to immediately put the back of your neck and your shoulders on the mat. So he's, the mat will be like a shield behind your back, like protecting you and your opponent will be like, oh, has no space to attack your back, okay? Any question? Yes. Uh, the guy in that drag you, he's really nice, tight into you. Where do you prefer to frame? On the collar, shoulder, face? Uh, I don't have much time to get grips sometimes, you know. I just frame, you know, and then I grab the material. So I don't looking for like grabbing the thumb inside his collar, you know. So it can be really fast. 
And actually, the second option would be very useful if it's really heavy on your hip. How are you gonna turn my hip? How are you gonna elevate my hip? You know, all his weight is on my hip, and he's, he knows that it's important to control my hip. So I need to frame here. I just frame. And then if I end up like having the thumb inside, great. If you're not, it's fine to grab here, like this. Same side, not kind of maybe. Yeah, same side, not like this? Yes. Yeah, you can. But this is more like if I try to go here and he's already really close, maybe he's gonna end up like blocking my frame. Okay? So, so when he comes, I'll frame no matter what. I'm not looking for this. You know, because now his head is, my form is no longer under his neck. Okay, so I prefer to be here. Look, more weight he put on me, he's feeling like a Ezekiel choke right here. Now I sit, elbow escape, hook. Then, boom, the fan. Okay? So the, the, the second option is more like when he's really tight. Really, really tight. And you need the frame. Because if you don't build the frame, you can't sit up. Let's say if Roland is here already, I can't sit up. Okay? So that's why you need to immediately like build the frame as soon as you get on your side. So you got the leg drag here. I'm like this. And then boom. Boom. Okay? Okay? Or he's just a little bit far. Like you got here, then I start putting like the guard like this, you know? If anymore. But if I feel like he's really heavy, I'm trying to lift my hip. I need to go here, okay? So only like if you're, if you're stiff, but also if it's really, really heavy, you gotta use the shoulder. And when I sit up, look at look the detail here. When I sit up here, I don't escape my hips. I use my elbow, you see? Like I don't try to bring my butt to my elbow. I just do like a pull up. I, I use the, the floor to bring my butt to my elbow, you know? So that way, look, I got this space with the bottom leg, look. Because if I keep my, my butt far from my elbow, it's hard to get this hook here. Keep her leg really close, see? But now if I do this, I use my weight here too, on the leg, see? And then, I got here. And then here, now I need to be careful on letting my opponent put the, the knee on the floor, because now I'm in trouble here. I need to do my best to make sure I hook right close to his ankle. Try to put your elbow knee on the floor. Look. If I hook here, he's gonna boom, put the elbow on the floor, okay? So make sure you're here. And then you stay, and then you start building the frames, and you can start attacking for you. Okay? Let's work. One, two, three. One detail here, okay? So. I want to get the leg drag. Let's say he's really tight, close to me here. I got the frame, okay? Remember, when I get the frame, if he goes away from me, go away from me, well, I don't follow him, okay? I keep here, come close, boom, frame. So you build like a wall, okay? But you're not like in touch, because if I'm here and he goes away, I extend my arm if I keep on him. Now he can arm bar me, okay? I need to always be like this. Okay, and usually when he goes away from me, it's gonna be easy for me to just escape the hips, like, just like this, and then recover the guard. So he wants to keep close. So just make sure, like, if it feels like, oh, he's getting choked, he goes away from you, you, you extend like this, you gotta be careful. Okay, especially if you go against one So <laughs> you're gonna go, you know, right? No, not me, that's not me. <laughs> yeah, or Bisnaga, is good, that's good. So, one detail here, okay? So when I sit up, I, I showed you the detail of like, use your, your elbow and your, your leg to make your, your hip like light so you can get the, hip, the hook, okay? But another other detail here, your hook is not here. If you make the hook here, it's gonna be cut and then get out, okay? So my hook is here, right on his joint, okay, right here, right on his knee. And now I bring my knee to my chest and then I kick the leg here, okay? Look, you know why I'm doing this? Look, the legs are right on top of my arm, okay? Look at the difference, I see some of you doing this. Trying to scoop the leg under, okay? 
So if you do that, you know, use your frames, okay? And also, it's gonna be so hard for me to underhook his leg. Look at the difference. Okay, now put your knee on the floor on. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Okay, he's gonna pass my guard. So I go here, I go one, two, bring him. Knees to my chest, look, now I kick the leg here. The leg's already on top of my, my hand. Now I go with my forearm, my bicep, okay? And forearm, elbow, right behind his uh, ankle. Try to put your knee on the floor. It's hard, okay? And at the same time I'm hooking here, I'm pushing this leg here, okay? I cannot bring this into my chest, because then he's gonna, okay? So it's like a, I build a tension here. Push the leg that's on top of his leg and pull the ankle, okay? Try to, try to go leg drag. He can't. In the meantime, I can start going for knee bars or 50-50, right? And then I start working from here, okay? So just pay attention to these details, okay? No problem. We got to drill a little bit more, okay? So you got on the side. Okay, he got really close, elbow, escape, hook. Bring my knee to my chest, control, tension. Okay, and also here, when I go for 50-52 or go for, for a waiter, because there's a waiter sweep here as well, I make sure I put this frame here as well, like this. I make a frame on his belly. Because now if you put the weight on me, look, I have a frame. If I keep here, is on the leg drag, okay? So you build the tension, skip your hips, frame, now you're here. Now you frame, now you're here. So you always, you see, I always want him on top of my frames, especially on my legs, especially on my legs, okay? Then I get here. First one, frame the arm. Once I build the frame on, my, uh, on the leg, I want to keep him on, on the leg because my leg is stronger than my arms, okay? Now I can start working. To counter sweeping, right? Because I'm already under no foot. Okay? So just think about the frame. You guys are really good with this. Escape, right? But when you hook, don't hook the, the ankle, hook the knee. And then when you hook, bring your knee to your chest. Okay? You can also do double hook. Some people are have short legs or they're more flexible. So I go double hooks like this. And then the difference you're gonna be here. Okay, go back. Or if you go with the hook all the way across on this side, try to go to my back. He can't, right? He's gonna go this way. What I do, I go back to the first, okay? Sometimes when people hug my back here, I make this hook, and I pull guard like this. Because I know that way he's not gonna go to my back. What he's gonna do, he's gonna try to walk the other way. It's not. Then I start putting on guard and then attack. Triangles, you know? Yes, sir. Is that considered a takedown or a guard block? Uh, it depends. It really depends. Yeah, like let's say if, uh, if I turtle, he's here, I stand up and I get fast, it's nothing. But if I turtle, he's here, three seconds, right? And then I go here, he touch my leg, ah, take down, okay? And then in training, you make your own rule. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, like when you do double? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and I'm here. I, you know, like I need more space for the top leg. You know, I feel like it's hard for me to get this up, but it's so much easier for me to disconnect my hamstring from him to get my hook here, okay? I feel like it's way easier for me, okay? But you know, if I, if I do like a nice escape and I, I can uh, swing my leg, right? Inside, I need to go around his chin, here, and then I go here. Don't try to go here, like on the thigh, you know? 
So make sure you, you circle your leg. So when you're here, you, you find this space, now you circle. Really quick, see? Like this, okay? Okay? So don't go like, uh, like this, <laughs> okay? Yeah. All right, let's press a little bit more. Let's go, one, two, three. <laughs> 